Hi everybody, welcome back to Technically Designed Home. My name is Marissa and today we are in our second part of a three-part organizational series. Today I am tackling my bathroom and I'm going to share my budget-friendly tips and tricks for organizing the drawers, cabinets, and counter space in your bathroom. So don't forget to like this video if you need motivation for reorganizing in 2020 and subscribe below and hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time I upload a new video to this series. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First things first, I highly recommend you vacuum your floor, especially if you have a lot of hair like me. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take everything out of the cabinets. I'm gonna organize them by categories, so my hair products, maybe my extra items, things that need to go in other categories. And then we're going to figure out what I need to get them reorganized. So let's do a speed montage here. So here is the cabinet all cleared out. I have this plastic um, shelf liner that's I think from Duck Brand. I got it at Walmart. Highly recommend these, especially as a renter. It covers up any sort of stains or anything that's on the cabinet and allows you to clean it off if there's any spills. If I was working from scratch and I didn't have any bins, my first mission would be to take measurements of this area. So I would, the width, the depth, and of course the height. Especially working under cabinets, you want to use as much vertical space as possible. But for today, I'm gonna just start by cleaning this out and then I'll go back to reorganizing all of the items that are all over here. I'm going to start by putting back the few items that I know they already have a home, things that need to go into my first aid kit, um, refill some makeup bottles, and uh, you know, throw away the extra trash. And then I'm going to start by figuring out, one, what do I need every day? So what needs to go in this bathroom? What do I use? What needs to be accessible? And then I'm going to go into what are my backup items? So and. Part of my issue right now is that I have a lot of taller bottles and they are liquid like hair products. So they need to stay upright. There's a couple different options for this. I have these plastic bins that I got from the dollar store. They're flexible, which is great and allows me to fit more items into them. The only downside to these is that they are circular and obviously you can only put so many circular things next to each other. They don't fit quite as nicely in square cabinets as square bins. I also have um, plastic bins with lids like this. I'm probably, I keep this in my like laundry cabinet. So this will be the backup items that I probably only need once every few months. So extra toothpaste, extra toothbrushes, little things that are easier to lose and need to be in a container with a lid, as well as I have more open top bins like this one. I use this bin in particular for my everyday hair products. It's easy to just grab and use them and put them back in. I uh, Another tip for when you are cleaning out everything, don't forget to clean the insides of your bins if you have any bins already. This bin was full of hair product that had spilled, but that is a reason to keep bins is that it contains any spills of products in your cabinets instead of um, seeping onto the wood or the, the actual cabinet material as you're using it every day. So I have a couple of ideas on how to reorganize this cabinet, but I think most of it's just gonna be practical as far as grouping things together by extra product, by category, whether that's hair, skin, um, you know, toothbrushes, etc., and then trying to use as much of my vertical space as possible. Since I do not need to share this cabinet, it is pretty large. I'm really not using a ton of vertical space, again, since I have a lot of tall bottles, but I'll insert a clip here of my bathroom at home where we use these plastic or metal shelving units, and then you can stick a bin below and above it to kind of maximize your space in your cabinets for the height. So let's continue organizing and I'll show you what it looks like when I am done. All right, so let's talk. 
there has not been a lot of changes to the layout here under my cabinet, but I did reorganize everything and I can kind of walk you through my logic here. So I have my extra supplies are in this uh, plastic bin that I got from Ikea with a lid. So this is good for my extra skincare, things that might be light sensitive and that are still in their boxes. Again, I try to keep everything upright, so this is mostly little jars of things. I have the blue bin here, which is my everyday hair products that I love to go to just grab out and use when I'm getting ready in the morning, as well as my, you know, mouthwash. I have the bath supplies there in the back. I don't use them very often, so it's good to keep those as far away as possible. I have my extra skincare and hair care products here, and then in the back I have my extra like um, shower products, so shampoo, conditioner, bigger bottles, and things that need to be stood upright. The uh, biggest trick that I have for you is shop the dollar store. I found most all of these bins either at Ikea or at the dollar store here, and it's a simple way to get everything organized. The one thing that I would warn you against, I do not like here about this bin, is that it is an angled side. It makes it difficult to stand things upright, they'll just try to fall over. So if you can find bins that are actually square up and vertical, I highly recommend those. And again, I recommend rectangles and squares over circles because they're easier to fit uh, in the square cabinets. So let me show you the drawer that I haven't really changed much, but I'll walk you through how I did that. And then that will be this video. Okay, so drawers. This is where you have to be really careful. You wanna make sure that your bins are gonna be short enough that the drawer can actually close and that all your items will fit in them as you design it. So the best time of year, I think, to shop for these bins is during like, the back to school fall time. These blue bins I actually got at Walmart last year during back to school sales. Or again, they have similar products as the dollar stores year round. One of the cool things I got is these uh, plastic bins with lids that I keep, one I keep all my bobby pins in, and the other one I keep all my little hair elastics. These are great for travel. I can just throw them in my bag and I don't have to worry about anything spilling out. Other things that I've seen people use to, for their hairpins is like a mint container or anything kind of with a lid that's small and can travel well. So when you are trying to organize a drawer, think about what you have. Do you have longer products like your toothpaste, maybe a deodorant? Do you have smaller square products like the hairpins, like my hairbrushes and some clips? And do you have wider products? Do you want, what do you want to group them wise? So I have all my skincare grouped in one bin and they all kind of fit mostly vertical. I have some of my favorite um, eyeshadows and uh, lipsticks up here. My contacts piece kind of has always lived in this bin. I don't know, it's just a thing. And then I have my uh, powder makeup products here. Obviously, as I mentioned, my hairbrush fits perfectly in one of these little bins and when you're taking measurements, again, make sure you take the height of the drawer as well as the dimensions, and then you can draw them out, and when in doubt, buy extra. So like I was saying, when in doubt, buy extra. You can always get extra bins, and you can return them if they don't work in your space, or you can repurpose them in another area of your house, like your kitchen, or maybe your office if you have drawers that need to be organized there. I have similar bins for all of my uh, utensils in my kitchen, and I have similar like shelf risers and large bins that are under my uh, kitchen cabinet for my cleaning supplies and my extra towels, etc., as well as my pots and pants. So, quick overview of what I have on the counter. I highly recommend at least for my little bit of OCD. I like to keep things off the counter as far back as possible. So I acknowledge that I don't want to have to grab out everything that I use every day. So I keep my everyday essentials on the counter, but I like to keep them organized in bins. So I got this cute like farmhouse style bin from I think Home Goods a few years ago. And I put a magazine rack in here. So, or like a paper file folding rack. And that's a great hack for organizing. I don't know if you can see it here, but I'll put a picture up here of what these look like. That's a great idea for organizing makeup palettes and other things that might be skinny that you can file organize them backwards. I also used toilet paper rolls to kind of DIY some other holders for round products like my mascaras and uh, foundations as well. I keep some of the larger skincare products I use every day out here. Again, my brushes, I like to keep upright. Look at them, they need to be cleaned. And this was one of the things that I thought of when I moved to this apartment. I have this huge mirror, but the sink is way over here to the side. So I wanted to find a way to get more vertical space. Use your vertical space. Um, out of the 
bathroom. So what I chose to do is get this clear acrylic shelf. That way it doesn't really obstruct the mirror. And I'm using this double-sided tape I found on Amazon and it is fabulous. It's renter friendly, but be careful, don't use it on walls. It's not as uh, paint friendly. And I was able to just press this onto the mirror and I've had no issues. And I can use my cute little um, organizing jars here for some of my everyday Q-tips and cotton pads, etc. I like to have a clock, a candle, and my Google Assistant lit lives in the bathroom as well. Let's use the mirror. <laughs> so that is my bathroom organization. What did you learn today? And what are you excited for as far as organizing in 2020? Let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you are notified when I post the last video in this series where I will be taking a look at my closet and reorganizing that. I've done a little bit of the KonMari method in the last few months, so I'm not sure there's a ton to do, but I just want to reorganize and recategorize everything for the new season. So I hope you have a great day and I will see you again next Friday for the last video in this organization series. Have a good one everybody.